Hello, I'm Mrs Bradley and I'm Head of Art at Rawlins Academy and I'm here to talk to you about our A-level art and A-level art photography options. Studying one of our art and design specialisms at A-level will give you an excellent grounding in a wide range of techniques and media including drawing, painting, photography, digital art, sculpture and printmaking. You'll also study the history of art where you'll discover more about the context of art through the ages and use your knowledge to inspire your own work. You can choose to specialise from the following, A-level art and A-level art photography. You can take art and art photography as two separate A-levels. The course structure of both A-level art and A-level art photography is the same, 60% coursework, and 40% externally set project, which is an exam project. In year 12, for both of these subjects, you'll develop your core skills and formal elements, you'll complete a mock exam project, and you'll also start a self-set project, where you'll develop your own project based on your own theme and topic. In year 12, A-Level Art introduces you to core skills through fine art, graphic communication, and art textiles. You can then choose to specialise in one of these. Year 13, for both of our options, continues the self-set project and then moves on to the externally set project, which is our exam project. The course content for A-level art introduces you to the three art areas, which you can then choose to specialise in at the end of year 12 and onwards. And these are fine art, where you create artwork responding to a theme. Using both 2D and 3D skills, you'll do a wide range of techniques, including painting, printmaking, collage, photography, digital work, and sculpture. In graphic communication, you'll create artwork for a purpose. So this could be poster design, packaging, trainer design, illustration, and you'll be given the opportunity to work both physically and digitally. So you'll work with a wide range of techniques, including drawing and painting, but also photography, uh, printing, typography and Photoshop. In art textiles, you'll develop your ideas and skills using artistic textiles techniques. And these include batik, printmaking, drawing and painting, mixed media, hand and machine stitching. And also you'll have the opportunity to work with fashion and interiors. In art photography, you'll create artwork responding to a theme. You will build your technical and creative skills through a wide range of techniques, including digital, physical and analogue techniques. And these are non-digital photography techniques which use the darkroom. You'll use Photoshop, collage, silkscreen printing and also mixed media techniques. Alongside these, you'll work in the light studio and the darkroom as we've said but you'll also learn how to use digital SLR cameras and other related equipments. The assessment of A-level art and art photography is the same. 60% coursework, 40% externally set project, which is your exam project. So the 60% coursework is made up of your core skills, your formal elements, your mock exam and your self-set project. The 40% externally set project is a project that you work through in your lessons and then the final piece is created in exam conditions over 15 hours. The assessment objectives for both of these is the same and the four assessment objectives each worth 25% each. Objective 1, artist links. Objective 2, development of techniques and processes. Objective three, observational studies. And objective four, the project as a whole and a final piece, presenting a personal and meaningful res response. If you're creative and want to improve your artistic practice and enhance your techniques in different artistic forms, these are the courses for you. Art and design features in every aspect of our daily lives, from the cereal box we grab every morning to the trainers you walk to college in. They've all been through an artistic process. This is a gateway to many exciting careers, including graphic design, um, advertising, illustration, fashion, product design, roles within the arts organisations, filmmaking. Uh, it could even be the start of a freelance career as an artist. 
As with all of our A-level courses, we expect you keep up to date with your work, handing in your homework on time and completing all the tasks that are set. Just as important is talking to your teachers if you're unsure or any aspect of your work or tasks you've been given you're not clear on. Most of all, enjoy being creative. That's what it's here for. Enrichment opportunities within the arts are wide and diverse. We run art trips and visits throughout the year. We have regular visiting professionals, uh, artists and university lecturers who deliver practical workshops or give subject specific talks to our A-level art students. Our weekly enhancement sessions are always really popular. Here you can continue to build your skills and explore new techniques. You can also get involved in creating props and backdrops for our Rawlings theatrical shows alongside costumes. We have groups asking for our help with artistic projects on quite a regular basis and we encourage students to enter arts competitions. We regularly have post-16 students volunteering our lessons with younger years, sharing their own skills and gaining valuable experience. These are all things that are really good and are very positive on personal statements and CVs for your um, apprenticeships, for going on to college, going to universities and for jobs. So hopefully this has given you the information that you need. But of course, if you've got any further questions, please contact me, Mrs Bradley, on the email address on the screen. You can contact any of our other art teachers also. We look forward to seeing you on arts courses. So pick up your sketchbook, grab your camera, and we'll see you soon. Bye.